Hi, this is question one from the AQA Statistics 1 June 2015 exam paper. We've been, we're given a table that shows the annual gas consumption and the annual electricity consumption for a sample of 10 bungalows of similar size and occupancy. Part A, um, so I should say that we've, we've been given the raw data and we've also been given the summarized data over here as well. Part A says calculate the value of R, X, Y, the product movement correlation coefficient between X and Y. Okay, so, um, and then in part B we're going to interpret this in the context of the question. Okay, so for part A, there's two ways of doing it. We can use the raw data um, using our calculator or we can use this summarized data here. So I'm going to use the summarized data but at the end of the video, I'll show you how you can use the raw data as well. Okay, so um, to use the summarized data, we need to use this formula that's actually given to you in your formula book. We've got R, our um, product moment correlation coefficient, is going to be equal to SXY divided by the square root of SXX times SYY. So we've got these um, values here, so it's just a case of plugging this into a um, calculation. So for part A, we're going to say, well, R, let me change the color of my pen, um, R, X, Y is going to be equal to S, X, Y, which is 3, 6, 2, 9, 6, 7, 0. divided by the square root of SXX which is 7, 6, 5, 8, 1, 6, 4, 0 times by SYY which is 6, 9, 4, 2, 5, 0. Okay. Um, and that's going to be equal to, so if I grab my calculator, let's stick that in, so we've got um, 3629670. We divide it by the square root of 765, one zero times by six nine four two five oh and that gives us zero point four nine eight two three significant figures. That is zero point four nine eight. Okay, and then part B says interpret the value of this um, in the context of this question. Okay, so we can see that that tells us that it's um, positive correlation, but it's not very strong. Um, so I would say moderate positive correlation So I would say that there's moderative, uh, moderate positive correlation um, and it says in the context of the question, so between the gas consumption and the electricity consum consumption. consumption and electricity consumption. Okay, and there you go. That's that for two marks for the first question and two marks for the second question. Okay, um, so you can stop there. If you want to know how you use your calculator to do this part here, I'll do that now. Okay, so using our raw data, if I grab my calculator again, and I'm going to clear my screen. Okay, and I'm going to put myself into stats mode. 
which is number two and we're going to be in this mode here which is my regression mode so option two and your calculator might have a different option for that and I'm going to put in my values of x and y so we've got two one three seven one so I'll do all my x's first Uh, one eight five two one one eight five two one and one five two 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 one five two two two. Okay, so I'm going to continue to put these in for my x and my y. You might want to pause the video and do this yourself on your own calculator. I'm going to stop the video now and just accelerate ahead. Okay, I've skipped ahead with um, my numbers and I've. Um, entered all my values which I'm hoping are correct it's always worth double checking just to make sure that you've got your values in correctly and um, so now that I've got that I can come out of this screen here and I'm going to now do a stats calculation so if I press shift and one that will bring up my stat calculation menu and I'm looking at number seven which is regression and I want my value of R, so I'm going to put number 3 in and what I'm expecting to see is 0 0.498 so press equals and I do in fact get 0 0.498 to 3 significant figures okay so I would recommend using this method in this particular question um, because there's always a danger that you will um, mistype a value when you're putting in a table of values here but if you weren't given this information then you would have to um, use your calculator and put in the values here okay um thank you very much for joining me i'll see you next time